Neil O'Grady, osteopath, and today I want to talk to you about an orthopedic test called the Bunnell Littler test, which uh, is a test that most people are confused about, so I'm going to try and clarify it and make it simple, okay? So, what it is a test for is to test the intrinsic muscles of the hand, so tightness of intrinsic muscles of the hand versus capsular tightness of the proximal interphalangeal joint. So, this is what we're testing here. So, just the first start with intrinsic muscles of the hand versus extrinsic. Ex extrinsic muscles of the hands are ones that start up here, the like the flexors and extensors, and intrinsic are like your lumbricals and your hypotenor, your hypotenor and tenor eminence, so the actual muscles in the hands and around the fingers. So what we do is we place the patient's hand like this, okay? So metacarpal phalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint. This is the one we're testing. So we'll take, bring the metacarpal phalangeal joint slightly into extension and what we're doing here is we're putting a little bit of a stretch on the intrinsic muscle of the hand so it should be more difficult to stretch it so we'll, to flex the proximal interphalangeal joint so then we'll bring the proximal interphalangeal joint into flexion see how far it goes take note or measure that okay so that's okay so it's going to about there and then what we'll do is we take the stretch off the intrinsic muscles of the hand bring it down here so it sh you should get a greater movement like that Okay, so we know it's intrinsic tightness of the muscles of the hand and not capsular tightness. Now let's say we had capsular tightness from osteoarthritis or whatever reason. So if to, to replicate capsular tightness, I'm just going to put a little bit of sports tape around here like that. Okay, so now we bring the hand up here. The, the proximal uh, or the metacarpal phalangeal joint into extension, and I'm going to flex the proximal interphalangeal joint, and we get very little stretch, so we've capsular tightness there, okay? And now we bring it into flexion like that, metacarpal phalangeal joint deflection, and we try and flex it again, and we've got pretty much the same. So we've taken the intrinsic muscles of the hand out of it, so they're no longer influencers. So now we know that it's capsular tightness of the proximal interphalangeal joint, not intrinsic muscle tightness as it was before, okay? So that, everybody, is the bunnell littler test for uh, intrinsic muscle tightness of the hand versus capsular tightness. And we're talking specifically about the proximal interphalangeal joint. Okay, so if you like the video, please subscribe. Talk to you next time.